This week we're making the fire truck. You will need the fire truck packet of paper that looks like this in your OT folder. You will need a pack of crayons. You will need some scissors. You will need some glue, a glue stick or a glue bottle. And you will also need a pencil. So grab that and let's get started. We are going to be drawing our lines by connecting dots, just like we did with the sun. So let's look at the dots that we're going to connect. And did you see how I used my finger first? So make your finger look like mine. Straighten out that first finger. We're going to pull down. We're going to go over, up, and then back over. Okay, let's grip our pencil right near the tip of that pencil. And of course, we're going to use our nice pinching grip. Pull down with that pencil. Pull over. Pull back up and then come go back to where you started from made the big part of the fire truck so now we're gonna have to make the smaller front part we we'll do the same thing we're gonna trace down over up and then back over with our finger and now we're gonna use our pencil we're gonna go down now you might actually have to move your paper so that you can see that other dot because you don't want your finger to block it because you got to be looking at it as you get there and let's just finish it up now use the yellow paper and the white paper to do the same thing as we make the ladder and the window Now that we drew all those lines, we're going to cut them out. I'm going to show you another way to cut things. When we're cutting a straight line like this, sometimes we can just keep going and snip off all that extra paper. Watch, I'll do that one more time. I'm going to start on that line, going to eat that tasty line, and then I'm just going to keep going and snip off all that extra paper. One more time, cutting on the line, snipping the last bit. And the last one is real easy. Let's try that same thing with the smaller piece of the fire truck. We're gonna cut on that line and just snip the last little bit. Cut on that line and snip. Cut on that line and keep snipping. And again, our last piece is nice and easy. Now we're going to cut out our white window and our yellow ladder in that same way. Now let's grab the black strip of paper with our wheels on it and let's do something to make it our job a little bit easier. Let's cut the wheels out into their own sections. Now let's start cutting on that white line. Let's think about cutting on those curved lines. We wanna take the smallest little bites we can trying to use the back of our scissors. I'll try to show you that in our meeting this week. Take a nice tiny little bite. You can even see how my scissors aren't closing all the way. I'm using what I like to call the back teeth of the scissors to make those little tiny bites. And of course, I'm turning the paper and not the scissors. So try to eat those nice little tasty white lines with those small little bites of your scissors. All right, let's put this thing together. Start with taking your glue and going around the outside of the big piece of the fire truck. If you're using a glue stick, I want you to pinch. And we're going to go all the way around those outside edges. And let's flip our big piece of the fire truck over and let's put it towards the left side of the paper. This might be a good chance just to stop and go over left and right real quickly. So now we're going to take our glue, we're going to go around the outside of the small piece of the fire truck. This is going to be the front piece of the fire truck. 
and I want you to make the front piece touch the back of the fire truck. See how there's no gap in between there and it also doesn't overlap. Take a second and make sure yours looks like mine. Now we're going to put the wheels on. I want you to ask yourself, should the wheels go on the bottom of the truck or the top of the truck? If you said the bottom of the truck, you are right. Okay, let's take a second and glue those down. If you have any white crayon remaining on your wheels, it's important to make sure you put the glue on that side of the wheel. So make sure you put the glue on the side of the wheel that has white. That way when you flip it over and you glue it to the bottom of the fire truck, just like I'm doing, you won't see any of that white. Now make sure when you glue these on that you're gluing them so they are just barely touching the bottom of that truck because we need to make sure that we have room for our mirror that's gonna go, our window, sorry, that's gonna go right there. So let's go ahead and put that window on now since I'm already talking about it. Glue them right in the top corner of the small piece of the fire truck, nice. And now we're gonna make our ladder. So let's think about this, our ladder is, should that go on the top or the bottom of the truck? You said the top, you are right. Now. I think it looks good, but I think we can make that even more like a ladder. So let's take one of our dark crayons and make what's called the rungs in the ladder. So here we go. Just make yours look like mine. Try to go from one edge to the other edge of that ladder, staying on the yellow piece of paper. Now, Let's draw a picture of you as a firefighter standing next to this nice shiny truck. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a head. Don't forget he needs a body. And then his arms are gonna come off the top and his legs are gonna come off the bottom. Make sure that his arms are touching his body. And then we're gonna add two eyes, a mouth, and of course, a nice big firefighter helmet on top of his head. Nice job making the fire truck.